Did you, um, maybe not with your first one, but your second company have a nest egg or, or do you have like kind of a good, like, Hey, if you have X amount, you're probably good to get through like one year. Right. I mean, do you have like a rule of thumb around uh, self-funding just from a nest, nest egg standpoint? I think we're, if we look at the two paths that we can go, uh, and if we're talking tech, then we need somebody to build the tech. So that means uh-huh. we have a, a developer, somebody with development expertise, which my standpoint was not me. So there either has to be someone who's willing to be a co-founder work for free, or you're going to have to pay out of pocket and pay someone to do your development. So that that's going to depend on the nest egg there. Uh-huh. Are in terms of requirements. So if we're talking... Um, if we're talking a developer as a co-founder, then what do we need money for? We need money for marketing. We need money to kind of get this thing out there. I would probably feel comfortable. Maybe if we're looking at like a $10,000 a month type thing, just for expenses Mm -hmm. and this and that, then we're looking at about a hundred thousand, one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year to get it out there. And then if we say, well, we really want like a two year runway. So $240,000, I think it sounds less intimidating if we break it down monthly. And can you do it for less than 10K a month? Sure. But then again, we're looking at it from the marketing standpoint. Like, what do we need to do to get this thing out to market? Um, assuming that we've got the development talent we need in house from our partner who's working for free. If we're outsourcing that, then you need to pay someone. And it's probably, it's going to be at least another 10,000 um, if we can do it smartly um, out of pocket, you know, I, from that standpoint. 